Okay, there we go. We're good. All right, welcome everybody, and welcome to our fourth uh, theme Thursday. Can you believe it? It's three, three. Uh, these are fourth, and uh, so the weeks are flying, and it's really nice to see, um, you know, the the, the theme Thursday uh, get together growing. Um, so this is really really nice. Um, just so you know, again, this is really casual, right? You don't even have to. Laura's here. How you doing, Laura? Hi. Uh, good. Good. So you, hey, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to paint. We're just here. You know, we chat. Uh, we've been having a really good time uh, sharing our, our artwork, our insight, our techniques. So this is really, really fun. Now, uh, we're pretty much at the tail end of this whole COVID thing, right? So this, we might be meeting very, very soon in person. But this is not going to go away because, um, again, we have a lot of um, we have a lot of members who who can get together with us in our normal paint tins and paint outs. So uh, I think I think Theme Thursday has turned out to be a really nice format for everybody to get together uh, from from their, their homes. And it's, it's like I said, it's very casual. You know, we've got Christine who's been joining us now for, for quite a few, is this, your, is this your fourth time, Christine? This is your fourth time uh, with us? I, yeah, I've been, yeah, for several times. I don't, I have lost count. <laughs> yeah, so how are you liking it? How are you like? I mean, obviously it seems like yeah, you're enjoying it, you know? So, I really like it. Yeah, because yeah. I'm getting a chance to finish up on some pieces that kind of I started and um, I wasn't sure that they were even worth working on, but it gives me an opportunity to kind of see what happens with them. It's it's very laid back. I love that. Yeah, and you're dialing, and you're dialing in from where? From... Uh, Mariposa, but actually Mariposa, right now right. Um, I'm in uh, Pinecrest because um, we're going mushroom hunting. And that's so right, you've been that's right, hunting the morals, that's right, yeah. Yeah, nice. so, yeah so I'm in a cabin right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, are, are you nice. are you close? Isn't Joy close to Mariposa? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, she has a, a place up in Mid Pines. Oh, yeah, 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 nice. We, we know each other from Mariposa Lynn. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. didn't know. We painted together. Oh my yeah. god! Nice. What a small world. Kathleen is here. How are you doing, Kathleen? I'm I'm doing fine. Oh, happy birthday, hey, Kathleen! Oh, that's right. Happy right. right. birthday. Okay, sorry. Now, this is started. this is my birthday party. I get to yeah. see oh, okay. you. Oh, oh. Your birthday. oh. <laughs> a, a toast, a toast to Kathleen. Mm -hmm. But Kathleen, we want to wish her a good. very very happy birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I hope you. I, hope, I, I hope got you water. <laughs> So, and for anybody who, whose birthday we've missed throughout this whole year, so happy birthday, Kathleen. We wish you the best to many more. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Happy thank birthday, you. Kathleen. Birthday. I you chose to spend it with us. I know. She had to spend it. Uh, all right. We got Connie here. How you doing, Connie and Carol? Hey, good. good. Hi. Right. We're up to 26. This is really good. All right, guys, Ooh. once again, this is really casual. You know, you can, um, Mike is going to do a, 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 a demo for us. So this is really, really a... Uh, this is really a, a treat for you. Um, so I'm gonna spotlight him uh, for a bit here. And then, uh, and then uh, afterwards, you guys can go ahead and pin anybody you want. You know, we'll put it back to gallery view so everybody can, is able to talk. Um, what else? Uh, that's about it. Anybody, anybody have any questions? Uh, anybody's first time here at uh, Theme, Theme Thursday? I, my first Christine, time. Yeah, Christine. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't wait to come. Yeah. <laughs> my, my first so, time. Uh, too. Bob is here. How are you doing, Bob? Yeah. So, I'm doing just fine. Thank you, Otto. Hey, How uh, about everybody else? Yeah. Hi. Hi. And I was going to mention Kathleen's birthday, but you already did. So, hooray <laughs> for us. So, yeah, we, we, really, uh, we really appreciate you guys joining us. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get this going. So, um, all right, so before, before we get moving, we have our next theme Thursday on the 20th. Many of you have been here for, uh, for quite a few, so if anybody wants to host, Christine, I'm looking at you. Um, if anybody wants to host a theme, <laughs> if anybody wants to host a theme for, uh, for the 13th of May, uh, let me know and uh, we'll get the announcement together and uh, you know and we'll, we'll shoot forward with it. So again, thank you everyone. Thank you for your hard uh, work, everybody. What's that? It's a good opportunity to share your artwork with 200 That's names. That's right, and, and, ah, and since Make yeah. Your Mark, Make Your Mark is less than three months away, so, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, or right around, yeah, about three months away. So um, so we want to we want to get you motivated to, to paint and to enter. And, oh, and, and any, by the way, um, uh, since Mr. Shikawa is here, I want to congratulate him and I want to congratulate Kathleen 
Uh, who else are we missing? Dave, we have, Dave. We, Dave, Dave is not here with us just yet. I think he had a long day at work. Um, and he's, he's doing a mural at the Cincinnati, Cincinnati uh, excuse me, at the uh, uh, Columbus Zoo. He's doing a nice really? big project right now. He's doing a big, big, big mural project right now. He's a lead yeah, artist on that mural. Auto too. What's right? that? And you too. Uh, <laughs> yes, but no, no, no. But, but let me let me congratulate uh, Mike and, and Kathleen. And who we have? Oh, I talked to uh, I, I talked to uh, uh, Mary Aslin, another one of her members. She got in. Mary Aslin. Um, I, Dougie, Dougie Wallace got in. Uh, Bernard Fallon got in. Uh, wow. Who else? Joe Mancuso. Joe Mancuso oh, got in. Really? Yeah. All right. Wow. So, you know what? We've got some great representation uh, at IAPS this year. And uh, so I'm really, really proud of you all. Thank you so much for. And I'll be in Chicago to see the exhibit. So I'll be going up to see it in person. Oh, that, that's right. And I think yeah. so is Dave. Dave is, I think, is going gonna, is gonna to drive from uh, Columbus uh ohio to go see the show so all right mr Chicago, i'm going to turn this over to you i'm going to go ahead and spotlight you all right Mike, hey, hi. if hey, you don't hi. mind uh, hey. how you doing there you are oh okay <laughs> yeah um uh, i'm here at uh, destination art today and i painted in fact here today with joe joe mancuso had a workshop and uh, we had a great turnout and uh Things seem to be loosening up a little bit now because we had a great turnout here. The whole room was full of people painting. And if you want to get inspired, this is the place to come because they have workshops here. And every Tuesday we have a, just a paint in. You can just show up and paint. It's $10 to, to come in here and paint. And I paint here as much as I can on Tuesday because it, it, it inspires me to paint with other people. And it kind of gets your juices flowing, you know, and you can ask uh, questions of other people. And it's, it's a great atmosphere to paint. I like it a lot. Uh, today, I, I thought we'd do a backlighted landscape drawing. Uh, I kind of like uh, these um, mundane shots like this. You know, they, they don't look like much. Let's see if I can. Uh, to your left, to your left. Yeah, there you go. Now, they don't look like much, but it's up to you as an artist to make something of this. And, you know, you can get these uh, photos like this that we, we painted today. This is Joe's photo of a, of a wave. It's very clear, very precise. Uh, let me show you what I did with that painting. That's, that's this. Oh wow. oh wow so that's that's that and so uh <clears throat> so the, the the thing today of course is to make something of uh of this little what i do with that drawing oh here it is of this and there's several ways to do it um i used to go in and put the sky in first mm -hmm. and then come in and draw the the trees in, but it, it, it kind of makes it look very contrived and very forced. So the way, the way I'm gonna do it today is I'm gonna carve, come in here and just paint this whole thing out in a kind of a dark color. Maybe put some blues over here, put some of this ochre down in here and uh, go in and put the sky in last. And with the sky, <laughs> what I'm gonna start doing is carving out these holes. And so you can, it's like sculpturing a, uh, uh, a piece of clay. You kind of start taking things out. And it's an interesting way to paint. And I don't know if you've ever done a backlighted painting that way, but I like it because it, it gives it a nice painterly effect on the painting. And uh, it's kind of exciting because you never know what it's going to look like. <laughs> uh, like in any art, I mean, you, you paint, you paint, you paint, and you do one, maybe good one out of four or five. And so hopefully today, this is gonna turn out to be one of the ones, who knows, you know? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, what I like to do, I pin my drawing, sketch here, and I, I like to quarter my drawing like this. Kind of do that. 
That way you know where that point is right here, that little bullseye point. And so, and then it gives you an idea where that horizon line is someplace down in here, like that. And then uh, this big bush in here is about like there. And then um, this tree kind of sculptures this kind of in here like that. And then there's this other tree someplace in here. There's a walkway kind of coming in here like that, which is kind of nice. All of this is pretty much all dark like that. And so is this. So with that in mind, I'm going to start laying in some pastels. So I'm going to take um, a dark pastel like this. This is a kind of a charcoal color. And I'm just going to stroke it in here. Oh, it's kind of haphazard, kind of sloppy. You never know what it's going to look like. I'm going to stop. Come in here and maybe put some fringes of yellow or oranges around here. Because as the, as the light comes through, the edges of these trees are somewhat kind of uh, orangey looking. I'm going to overlay some blues in here because I'm going to try to get that back into the distance a little bit. And uh, there's some. Uh, this when you do backlighting it's better to go in darker than to go in light so like this is more of a kind of a deep ochre i'm just going to come in there with a kind of a darker color because you can always lift it up i'm going to get this walk kind of a there's a walkway in here somewhere like that and there's some greenery down in here, some greenery up in there. And that's it. Now, I, what I do after this is, um, this is alcohol <laughs> and my paintbrush. So I'm just gonna start dabbing it on there and just kind of letting it run a little bit. It looks like a mess, you know, but the whole idea is to try to make something of this mess after a while. Okay, that can, kind of gives you an idea where the trees are. Let me put this little walkway in like that. And then I'm going to come in and lay in the sky. <clears throat> Around the edges, it's going to be a little lighter. So I'm going to come in here with a little lighter color. And I'm going to take There's a big stick of Sennelier. Where is it? I guess that's here. This one. That's, believe it or not, it's a Sennelier. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a color that Lynn gave me a while back ago. And it's slowly wearing out. So there's, there's that. I'm going to come in here and kind of put the lighter part in like that. And then put the sky in. What kind of paper are you using? This is UART 500. Okay. And uh, it takes watercolor and alcohol real well. I like it a lot. I brought Back, that. Uh, that. We've got the UART shirt on. <laughs> I I want to from now France. I take my hair dryer. Right, Mike? Mike? And just dry it off. <laughs> and 
as it dries, the colors kind of lighten up a little bit. Okay, so now we got a foundation. Doesn't look like much, so let's let's try to make something of this now. So um, <clears throat> when you see this backlighted tree, it looks very dark, but when you peer into it, you can see some other colors peeking through there. There's some of this magenta color in here, which I'm gonna slowly scumble in. And of course, there's some dark blues. Where's my blues at? There you go. I'm gonna come in with some darks, more darks. And uh, <clears throat> get some of this orange in here. And uh, there's just a little walkway coming through. Now, I'm coming in with a little more darks in here. And some lighter edges. Okay, now, <clears throat> this is the fun part I like. We can kind of start chiseling out these uh, trees. I'm going to pretend there's a sunlight right in here, so I'm going to go in with a little lighter color, maybe even a white, maybe a yellow, yellow white. And it shows there's a little bit of sunlight coming through. Now, uh, what I like to do is start putting in some of my tree trunks and branches and things like that in here. It's like, you know, you're just sculpturing your tree, you're looking at it and see what it looks like. Just open this up a little bit more. Because what you can do is take your darks and kind of start putting in some of your branches. 
There's a lot of branches over here. I try to kind of keep my drawings in a loose fashion and not get too tight. Once in a while you have to step back and take a look at it. It's a little bit light in here, so I'm gonna darken it up a little bit more. A little bit darker here too. Now I'm gonna start sculpting the tree a little bit. Cypress trees have these little kind of horizontal leaves that are different from a pine tree. They kind of just shoot out like this. So you try to get that, capture that kind of a feeling of the, of the cypress, especially like in these ends here. See how they kind of pop out? Let me put this over here a little bit more so you can see it. Uh, we get a little darker, kind of a dark blue color, this one maybe, and put something back in here that shows a little bit of a distance. Some trees that are back in the back, some like that. <clears throat> Right in here is that sun coming through. So I'm gonna come in here with some pale yellow. Uh, show that there's a little bit of sunlight there. And there's some dark greens. This is really, what this is is really, it's kind of like, um, uh, what's that ground cover that you see all over the place? It's very dark green. It's got these little yellow uh, 
orangey tips on them. They're, they're, they're not native to the area. They're, they're like uh, a weed. A lot of, a lot of people don't like it, huh? What is it, Dan? Iceberg. Ice, ice plant, yeah, ice plant. Yeah. Ice plant, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a scourge, but it keeps erosion down. You never have enough colors for pastels. Now I'm going to come in here now with the sky again. Right in here, I think I'm going to go with a little lighter color. Punch hmm. a few more holes in here. You can come in now and uh, put a few more branches in. Put some um, branches in here in blue so that it, it kind of feels like it's going in back in the distance. This is a little bright in here, so I'm going to tone it down a little bit. Oh, it's not the right color. Nice thing about pastels is you can kind of go over it and and still retain the same color below it. 
I'm going to come in now and put, put a few shadows in across the walkway. Because this is going to be backlit. Change this up a little bit here. Get a little bit of darkness back in here. Put in a little pink here, see what happens. done. This goes uphill a little bit, so I'm going to let it go up a little bit more. And I'm going to shade that down. Okay, that's a backlit drawing <laughs> for what it's worth. So you can feel the sun kind of peeking through the back and winding its way through the trees. Uh, I'm not that happy with all of this. The trees I like, but this is garbage. And uh, it needs to be worked on a little bit more. But, you know, I mean, like I said, you just you keep working at it. And once sometimes you come up with a good one. And this was not one of my good ones. Oh. Sorry to say. But this is OK up in here. I like the idea of the, of the trees first and then the, the background. Yeah, well. It's uh, kind of a cool idea. That's a, that's a different approach. and. Uh, there are several ways to do backlit drawings and by carving it out, you kind of get more of a sculptural look out of it rather than trying to put every little leaf into your drawing. So, uh, any questions? Oh, wow. So fast, Mike, I don't know how you do that. You just, you just go intuitively and it really works beautifully. Your intuitive painting. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Those cypress trees are hard to do. Wow. Let me show you one I did uh, today uh, on Tuesday. This is uh, one I did big. Uh, and wow. <laughs> it is. Wow. Woo! Oh, that's cool. Wow. 
Yeah, yeah for color. This I is this is painted Tuesday in uh, that painting, that destination art. Oh, for is sure. that right? Wow. Yeah. Look, and then it's very detailed and precise on the bottom. It's wonderful. <laughs> And I love how the small buildings give it like this grandiose perspective. It's exactly. yeah, it, it it gives you scale is what this yeah. does. It makes <laughs> that tree look gigantic, you know, because the building itself is very small. Wow, yeah. nice, Mike. Very nice, very nice. You know, it, it's amazing. You use all these colors. You know, if I did that, they would all be mud. <laughs> <laughs> They, you it, know what? You I, have to step out of your boundary every once in a while. And sure. as I've gotten older, I've gotten to be more, you know, you go for it. You know, you just got to go for it because you never know. Sometimes it works out. And like tonight, it didn't work out. It got very muddy. So if, if I was going to redo this now, what I would do is I would come in here now and just wipe this whole thing out. Okay. And just redo that whole bottom. Okay. And uh, that's what's nice good. about pastel. You can knock yeah. it off and yeah. go over it. Yeah, and I think you are lends itself to that too. You know. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I would I would redo this whole area over again. What? Well, but, do it. Yeah. Let's see it. I like. I love to see that. Right. So you can't be afraid to have a loser once in a while. You just got to plunge your head and. <laughs> Everybody does. I mean, yeah. you know that. I mean, you, you, you draw, you draw, and you draw, and once in a while you come up with a good one, and most of the time they're, oh, you know, like, oh, well, it's all right. <laughs> well, so. you know, it didn't, didn't look like a loser to me. It You're looked right. pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, like an, I was I, impressed. I, yeah, I have a question, yeah, I have a question <laughs> though. When you're, when you're putting colors down and you're, do you consciously put colors next to each other that would be complementary colors, like the orange and the blue, or do you just sort of intuitively put your colors, you know, in juxtaposition uh, I, to each other? You know, the way colors are, if they're the same value, it doesn't matter what color it is. It really doesn't. If, if it's the same value, like, uh, you know, like this, and uh, like this. This is blue. See, those are, when you squint, mm. so this one's a little light, but like you can kind of come in and like those are all pretty much the same value. So you can paint anything that color. You can kind of come in this way and put that in, or you can put this in, you know, and it's just pretty much the same value and you can kind of play with it. So, so you're just thinking thinking of your values rather than your hues. Yeah, the that's hues. what I do. Okay. Um, hmm. Like in here, you know, they're all the same values, but when you look close, you see all that interplay of, of the different colors, and that's yeah. what makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was all this dark, dark color that you see here, you know, it's it's really oh, yeah. A yeah. black mass. Yeah. If you do it this way, you know, it's a little bit more interesting. Uh -huh. So that's that's what I mean. And your sky is kind of important. Um, this guy is pretty much bleached out. And uh, I think it probably looks better that way. So probably what I would probably do now is, is lighten that whole thing out. <laughs> I think if you, if you came in here and just started doing this. Oh, different, just makes a different mood. <laughs> yeah. See, you can just kind of. So it looks different now. Or you can come in here and I like to come in and put like little flashy things in there, which, which is more kind of a fun thing. Uh, 
you can come in here and you know just kind of do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Flashy things. <laughs> Those are just some things you can do, and and then you can come in here and just put a little, few more details in at the end of the leaf. And when the sun's hitting it, of course, you're going to see a little, some little orangey colors on the in, inside. So you can do that too. So just kind of play around. That's, that's the fun part about it is if you don't like it, you can wipe it out and just do, just do it again. So it's not a precious, something precious. It's just a piece of paper with color on it. So just go have at it, you know? That's what I look at it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it's well, just- a, What paper uh, are you using? This is UART and I mount it myself. So that piece right there is maybe about four bucks. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, found it yourself, okay. Yeah, so four bucks and it's, uh, if you cut it in half and it's $2. Yeah, there you go. So you can you can take this. This is what this is. See, this is uh, twice this size. Oh wow! So this is cut in half right here. So this is this drawing is twice the size of this one mm -hmm. in this direction. Right, right, right. So you can get, actually get four sheets of paper out of this one, nine by twelve. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Twenty-four. So you can cut it any way you want. So it's better to buy a big sheet because it's cheaper and cut it yourself. If you buy each piece like a 12 by 18 or nine by 12, they'll mm -hmm. charge you a fortune for it. But if you, can't, if you keep, uh, if you buy one of these 18 by 24, I think these are like 10 bucks at uh, UR. Oh. And, uh, so if you cut it into four pieces, each piece is gonna cost you 250. So that's pretty reasonable. So, you know, you can kind of be free and not have to be so precious about your drawing because you can always, uh, you can either brush it off or, or hose it off, or um, you can take like a, a brush like this and just kind of, you know, brush off certain areas that you don't like and redo it. So, uh, we all go through that. We, we, there's certain areas that we don't like, and so you just brush it off and just do it over again. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what's so much fun. I mean, if it was oil, you can do that as long as it's wet. You can just kind of come in and, you know, just swash across there and wash it off. But with pastels, it's easy. Mm -hmm. So, wow. I mean, the whole idea mm -hmm. is just have fun, you know, it's not, uh, and when you're having fun, yeah. Better paintings, I think, and then rather than when you're tight and you want to do something, oh, I'm doing this for a competition, I got to make it really good. You, 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 people tend to, I think, I at least I do, I freeze up. So if I'm just painting, that's why plein air painting is so nice. You, you're out there painting and uh, in the open air, nobody's watching you, you can just do your own thing. <laughs> That's why I like this um, get together is because this is my opportunity to play around and experiment. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, you know, yeah. I should come to this uh, Tuesday uh, painting at uh, Destination Art. I, th I think we're going to have start having some of those at uh, ESSC. We have these paint outs and those were just wonderful. And of, of course, we haven't had one in a whole year. So it's going to be really nice to get back at it again, you know, and see everybody and start painting, uh, have some workshops, have some mini workshops after the meetings at uh, uh, Lynn's Church. Those are the things that make, uh, make it exciting to be a painter. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. So anyway, it's uh, actually, you know, we've got, this is supposed to go on till eight o'clock. So we've, we've got another, <laughs> oh wow! Ah, uh, cool. Questions? All right, let's paint, everybody. Painters, painters. 
Yeah, did, did, did you bring your paints? Just start painting. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to start painting. Why not? Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to have, I'm going to shove off because I'm going to grab some dinner. I'm starving. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, thanks for joining <laughs> us. Yeah. yeah I, hey, can't wait for the next one. It's, sound, it's really cool. I love it. Mike, if your picture looks even it looks good just what you've done and racing it and just put in another color. It looks great. It's beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. it looks great. You can still feel that sun coming through. It it, it really it, don't worry about it. It looks good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Thank you go. Thank you. See you later. Thank you so much, Mike. Okay. Uh I'll work on it a little bit more. Next time we get together, I can show it to you. Please, please do. Thank okay. you. Thank you very right. much. Yeah, thank you. Oh, we've had a few people. Fun. We had a few people join us. Uh, hi, Pam. How you doing, Minnie? How you doing, Minnie? Hey, great. Thank hey, you. Hey, I learned a lot from, from Mike out. tonight. Yeah, Dave made it today. After a long day, a little late. Yeah. Do hey, <laughs> Dory's here. How you doing, Dory? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, and that's Doobie. That's Doobie. That's Doobie. <laughs> hey, Dory. He's my painting buddy. I don't get much done. <laughs> oh, you're in your studio. Well, yeah, a mess. <laughs> Cleaner than mine. I like yours. It's big. <laughs> I look like a hoarder, actually. <laughs> Artists tend to be a hoarder. They, they hoard their past selves like crazy. I know. You never have I, enough. I, I'm on a don't bypass Del Mora train. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Mike. We really enjoyed watching this. Hey, we're Warren. Up in, yeah, yeah. We're up in Pacific Warren, Grove now. But Royal Grande. We had to skip dinner so we could watch your presentation. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks so much. It was great. Warren's, Warren's from San Pedro, retired now in Arroyo Grande. His wife's an excellent painter and a doodler. And <laughs> Warren is too. Warren's a great painter. Did you say something, Dory? <laughs> oh, I was just going, let's see what everybody's doing. <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah, let's right, see. Uh, yeah, let's share. Oh, Who, anybody anybody, anybody want to share something? Okay, yeah, I'll share. Right. I'm with Christine, one. let's see. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. It's a, it's, I started this in Point Lobos, but actually, thank you so much because this uh, has been very helpful. Christine, let's, let's see it one more time. Let's see it one more time. Let's, let's, let's see it one more time. Let, let's see your piece. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Wow. Beautiful. 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 That's great. Thank you. That's, that's beautiful. Cool. We're going hiking there tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Oh, yay. <laughs> yeah, and, and if you guys, if, if you're not familiar with, with Christine, you guys see her horse paintings. Her, they're just <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I'm going to get out oh, of Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm way out of my comfort zone doing this stuff, but this is oh, no, good. No, no. I, this I'm out of my comfort zone doing that stuff too, no worries. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, that, we, we, got, <laughs> we learn. We learn by doing. So. Exactly. All right, anybody else? Anybody else want to share something? Nope. Playing with some stuff from uh, Emerson's okay. workshop. Oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's see it. Okay, let's see if I can do this. So I just. Oh, yeah, that's uh, from Don's. Uh, yeah, I made some. Uh, I actually cut stencils today. I just thought, I'm, I love pears. So I thought I would do that. I'm trying to look at what I'm doing on the screen here. There we go. All right. Yeah, cool. just playing around. It's actually look. It's actually brighter in person, but um, yeah, that, that looks very impressionistic. Yeah, it was. It's you know, it was really quick. That's really fun. out of your comfort zone, Dory. It isn't. It isn't. Yeah. Oh, I can't hold this thing. Nice. Yeah, yeah, well, she she did quite a bit of she did quite a few uh, pieces during Donna yeah. Anderson's workshop that were. I thought yeah. They were really great. Well, yeah, they're back here. Come here. Uh, I've got a few things back here. Whee! Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I just nice have way. things on my wall. Anyway, yeah. So it kind of got me going again because I certainly didn't feel like doing anything up to that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. Anybody? Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? 
I followed Mike's um, picture tonight, and I have a little one. Oh, let's see, Robin. Great. This is Robin. Let me see, Robin. Let me see. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, okay. How about that? Oh. Cool. Nice, Robin. That worked yeah. out nice. Good work, Robin. I like Mike's style. It, it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Kathleen, what do you have on that easel? <laughs> I'm still working on this thing from oh. last week. Well, whenever we did the ocean seascapes, we can't oh, see it. Wow. I've been back out here. I'm just trying to block it in. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Let me see. Let me see then. Hold on a second. I'm just blocking in the colors right now. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, it looks really pale. Let me turn this light off. I got my Tron light. There. The Tron oh, yeah. light really washed it out, but I'm just trying to block in some of the colors and this is where Very we cool. stayed in Hawaii. Hawaii? It's, it's Beautiful. coming slowly, but I'm going to try to get it there. Oh, it's going along nice. It'll yeah. be okay. Very it's nice. slow. I haven't really worked on it at all. This is the only time I've painted you guys, so I'm glad we're doing this. Oh, good. I haven't painted. Yeah, me too. The last one. <laughs> yeah, that's coming along real nice. I mean, I see it far in the background. That, that's that's good. That's yeah. I can see. Yeah. I'm using two different reference photos, so I'm just kind of making making it up. But hopefully, it'll come on. Yeah. All right, Larry, you're up. Larry, what you got? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm. I, I just kind of. I don't see myself. So I'm gonna put you back. <laughs> It's true. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Pretty, pretty colors. Oh, yeah, really I just, just started working on it. This is from uh, when I was up in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. This is out in Red Rock Canyon. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that, that loop and the sun was just coming, coming through. I'm, I didn't like the sky in the photograph, so I'm making that part up, but just got, a, got started on it. Oh, cool. I see you got some pieces yeah. behind you, too. You got some. Yeah, 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 that's nice. that's things that I've done either in class or in my I've been doing some Zoom classes and things. So oh cool. So well very nice. Thank, thank you. Kathleen, I like your trees. Why don't you show us your trees? <sighs> Kathleen. Oh let me see. Oh yeah, we got yeah. Kathleen's like trees. Hold on a second. Oh no on a second. And congratulations, Kathleen, for getting into oh. uh thank you. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah that, that, that yeah, was so my oh, nice. Is That's beautiful. Kathleen, can you tell us what subject matter you got into IAPS? You don't have to tell which painting, but um, it was it was a, a kind of a modern landscape. Oh, okay, cool. I can't wait to see the show. I know. You know, so so this one I chose. You know, since he since Mike suggested backlighting, I chose this picture of some trees from from Yosemite. Wow. And, and what I what I like about it is it, it kind of reminds me of stained glass windows. Yeah. So you know all of the little pieces uh, yeah. in between, um, you know, are like little pieces of stained glass window. Yeah. And you know, in the dark lighting you don't really see the colors very well. So yeah, it's it, yeah, the mood is fantastic right but, um, it's hard to work on it in the dark <laughs> <laughs> it's my lighting isn't so great you guys are going to be here we have 65 people registered for saturday's meeting which is really exciting for tony elaine's demo and a lot of other fun stuff so that's right that's right so tony elaine don't miss tony elaine uh he's got his uh a demo this saturday 11 o'clock so, hey, Otto, what time is it for uh, uh, Tony in, in Scotland when he's when he's doing well, our, our... Uh, You know what? I'm not. I'm not sure. What is it? Uh, Seven or eight hours. Nine hours? Is it? I thought it was nine. Maybe. Eight, maybe you're right. Yeah, eight or nine. Quite so a is few. It in, is it in, in um, morning or afternoon or evening? Evening. evening. Go ahead. Kathleen, I'll be sending tomorrow morning for the raffle okay okay yes so everybody who um who, who's on this this zoom thing you get a little preview one of the one of the raffle prizes is going to be mike's sketchbook he's he's publishing his sketchbook and so you will so he's he's 
oh, you know, going to provide a copy of it and, and he's going to uh, sign it to the person who wins. So, uh -huh. so definitely <laughs> sign up for the, our meeting so that you, uh, I have some other, some other raffle prizes too, all books that, that, you know, will be raffled off. So. Mike, do you have it there to show? Do you have the cover there? I don't have, Mike has them. Mike, do you have Just, it? Uh, I didn't bring any with me, oh, okay. no. Uh, but it's 187 pages of sketches. So there's bring it on color. Saturday so you can show it. Yeah. And, and there's yeah, our yeah, editor right there. Lynn's our editor. She <laughs> edited the whole book for me. It was and, a pleasure. Uh, it was really fun. It was, it was an Mike, how can we buy a copy of this wonderful book? Uh, I'll just bring it to the next meeting. You can, you can. Yeah. Just, the next in person. Okay. Yeah. Or I can send it to you. Um, All right. I'll email you. I'll email you. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the profits <laughs> are going to uh, disabled sports. Yes. And uh, this, this should be fun. So Mike, I, you can bring I had a great time doing it. Uh, Lynn coached me along. Uh, ben Knight, who's watching tonight, got me on this keynote program and that was wonderful. And uh, I have a printer friend who was doing our doing my Christmas cards for the past 25 years. He retired, and he came out of retirement to do to do this book for me. So oh, wow. that's it's kind of a teamwork thing. So it's been great. There's, a, there's an artist that I saw in Pastel Journal a while back. Her name is Tara Will. Have you ever, anybody seen her work? No. Tara Will. She, she's a, an impressionistic painter, kind of paints in the same air, direction as uh, Tony Elaine, very bold colors, very strong strokes, strong marks. And I like her work. So if you want to kind of get inspired uh, before you get you watch Tony, watch look at some of Tara Will's work. How do you spell her last name, Mike? Uh, w I L, Tara. Oh, Tara, just Will. Tara W I L. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tara Will. Yeah, she's uh, she looks to be like in her maybe mid thirties, uh, young Cute. girl. She's got uh, art art background. But she's very bold. I mean, she's very gutsy, and uh, I like her work. She goes in with really strong colors. She makes a mark and, and uses that Tony Elaine philosophy, make a mark and don't touch it, you know? Yeah. So she's good. Oh, there's, there's Dory working away. I'm with an eraser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Erasers are wonderful with this pan pastel stuff. Just erase anything. Oh, is that from Don Emerson's workshop? Or you know, I just did this today because I I'm actually going to have a group of my students over tomorrow or on Saturday, and we're going to go over a few things that I learned during the Don Emerson workshop. So I thought I'd better practice. Oh. But um, yeah, um, she is so wonderful. She's just so much information you could take her workshop a couple of times you get to well you could take a couple of day workshop with her does that make sense yeah. i uh i loved when i we were at your ranch and that uh, with the horses land it was just yeah. that fantastic workshop but that was such a real brilliant. experience it was so real you know being in the barn the horses are outside oh. and we're working inside flailing around and you guys did a lot of the same techniques, right? At this most recent workshop. Yeah, we just didn't do horses. We, um, we, I'm trying to think, she, what did she add? I was trying to figure out what things she added that we hadn't done before. They're in her book, I think. Some of the things are in her book. Yeah, she, um, yeah, she just, you know, she used different subjects. She was doing a lot of birds of prey. Right. Um, which is tricky because, I mean, I don't necessarily have any photos of birds of prey. <laughs> I just go out and shoot them in my backyard. I don't know. No. Uh, <laughs> no out there. One of the books that's going to be raffled off is Don Emerson's book. Oh, it's a great one. So, so that also 
for um, any of you who took her workshop or didn't take her workshop and want to know her techniques, that's one of the books that we're going to raffle off. And that book is very thorough, it has everything in it. It's great. Um, I just, I also took a Don Emerson workshop that was on more um, multimedia techniques and not, and so the, um, I used in, in this, I used uh, her technique of, of putting, um, water miscible oil mm -hmm. with a brayer yeah and to, so for the darks that's what i i did and then like like mike does i'm, I'm carving out the the um light parts from the darks um that's a fun process yeah yeah is. we did we did that too we she did one more thing when we had it that i had not done where we used white water mixable oil and we put it on colored paper and rolled out the white completely then we used the pan pals, pastels on top of that while it was still wet and then we used a razor and cut through it down to the paper or kind of shaved it or pulled it off it was like uh, a subtractive print and then adding things and using talent it was just multimedia piling things on and it was fun really fun but the white yeah, yeah she had us in the workshop that I took, we, we worked on clayboard because you can scrape through and oh, make marks on them. They're so great. I love them. Yeah. They're and great. and so that was, that was, it was the subtractive, you cover it up and then you scratch it through. Um, unfortunately, the clayboard doesn't take pastel very well. And I've been trying to figure out um, some ways to you know, uh, do it so that you can you can use more pastel on it um, than have it stick. But mm -hmm. um, but you get these very faint pa pastel colors on it. Well, you should try the white white oil and roll it on. And honestly, we did it with those sponges. We put the pan pastels on that. But you know, actually, when I think about it, it was it was hard to get any stick pastel to stick on that. Right. Yeah. To, you scrape through it and then you put it on. So that kind of was, uh, I had a hard time with that concept. It's like, why do I want to put it on, scrape it off? And I was having trouble. Mentally yeah. With yeah. Moment. Well, I, I like being able to, to erase and scratch through, you know, yeah. put color on and then scratch it, you know, scratch it off. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that on pastel paper, <laughs> you know, so that you can actually use the pastels. But I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm working on it. Well, she did have us do one thing. We used the pan pastels underneath and she we, we were putting stand, stencils on and everything. And then we went over it with like really soft, like Diane Townsend um, and we'd cover things up and then we'd use a razor and cut through that back down to the other. Mm -hmm. That was one way of cutting through on paper. Mm -hmm. we using print paper, which is pretty thin, the 300 uh, strap. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Fun stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I really enjoyed her workshop. It makes, it does, I, I feel like you do, where it, it makes you step outside of yourself and think about things differently. Yeah, it made me happy. <laughs> I don't know. Happy was good. I liked that feeling. <laughs> yeah, she was really thorough. I mean, just listening to her, I was, I was amazed at how much she gave you guys. I was like, whoa, it was, it was a lot. It was yeah. really, I mean, it was thorough. She was really good at it. And her log cabin studio. Oh my God. I know. I know. That was amazing. Just amazing. Ah. Actually, Red Rock uh, did a thing with her where she did a short little demo for their group. And uh, but her whole the whole thing was showing everybody her studio. <laughs> so it was like, wow, it was really amazing. It's a beautiful space. Where does she live? Ben, Oregon. Oregon, yeah. East, oh, Eastern ben, Oregon. Oregon. Oh. It's outside of Bend. I've been wanting to go up there to do. Wow, I'm going to be up there in up October. Up by Smith Rock. Redmond, up by Smith Rock. No, I'm going to be there north, in October. I would love to go up there. Beautiful place. Yeah, she does like private workshops, I think, up there. Yeah. We talked about. 
doing yeah, that. Maybe I'll take a private workshop with her. <laughs> yeah, and Barbara Janicki is also in Bend. Yes. Yes, yeah. she is. You're all moving up there. <laughs> up there. Oh. It would be a real gold mine to go up and take some workshops. Well, Richard McKinley's up there in Medford, Southern Oregon. Yeah, Medford, Oregon. He's on the coast, I think. And Bend is more like in the central part, east. And yeah. I was in Bend a few years ago. It's great. We're all going to yeah. show. We're all going to get grab a bus and and show up at Don's house one day. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Party? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we sleep in your studio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, who thought of this? This is a great idea. Otto and Dave thought of this. Dave Dabianco, right, Otto? Yeah. If, if you haven't, you know, I don't know if you have, if has everyone everyone met Dave? No. Yes. All right, let's, let's let's put Dave on. Where are you at, Dave? Where are you hiding? Hold on. A I'm right here. Hold on, I spotlight you. I think this this was your idea. I just kind of i I just did the first one, but I think El Presidente is oh, uh, <laughs> he's the he's the he's right. the brainchild. He's the brainchild behind most of this stuff. It hey, looks so what, like El so Presidente got his hair cut. I did actually. You know, yeah, I did. I got. I got oh, my hair I like it long and curly. It was so it, nice looking. It's, it's it's still a little. It's still a little curly. Um. Yeah. You know, this my hair had a mind of its own, and and finally, you know, my mom and I hadn't gotten together for a long time, and we all, you know, we're all vaccinated. And I said, "Hey, ma, how are you? I, you know, you want to cut my hair?" She's like, "Sure, I'll come on over." So she cut my hair, but um, Great. but uh. You know, I, I used to be in the Marines, and I got used to that short haircut. So I, I may, uh, I may, I may go short tomorrow. I may even go shorter tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's understandable. I, I hadn't grown it. I hadn't grown it long in, uh, gosh, twenty five years. You look like Gustavo Dudamel. <laughs> oh my god! You know how many people told me that? <laughs> I looked like Dudamel. Uh, that was that was hysterical. Uh, hey, uh, Dave, what are you working on, man? Um, I got us. I've got some stuff. Um, no, no, behind you. I want to see that. Oh, it's. Uh, I'm working on a swan that I. Uh, oh, nice. I know it's not. Is it? Is it backlit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it could be. It could be. <laughs> this, this past uh, two weeks, I've been working um, at the Columbus Zoo, so I've been painting. Yeah, no, I let him know. I let him know what, what you're Yeah, I've on. been painting a, a mural, so it's nice to get away from uh, painting leaves. I'm doing a, it's for an uh, orangutan exhibit. I've seen enough leaves. I've seen Borneo in my mind enough, <laughs> so uh, I think I'm ready to do something else. So I think t today's a really nice change up. I, oh, and, and by but, the way, uh, Dave, Dave got uh, first try. First try, uh, he entered into IOPS and he, he got in. He got in I got the, lucky. I got yeah, lucky. The, no, that's a beautiful piece. He did a really nice, uh, really nice uh, camel, camel portrait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. now I got to frame it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and chip it. Yeah. Well, you know what the nice thing is? I, I'm only six hours from Chicago, so ah. if I if I want to wait to the last minute and drive it there, I can. But uh, I, I gotta I gotta, I gotta uh, ship mine. Oh. I'll probably ship it. I'm hoping to go to the show. To be honest, I'd love to see the show and everybody's work. Well, so. uh, um, uh, what's it called Lynn's gonna go. Dad, oh really? Oh Lynn. Oh, oh that's great. My dad, my dad lives three hours south of Chicago, and I'm going there for Father's Day. So. It's that weekend, so I think I'm gonna drive up with my brother, who's also an artist, and see the show. Oh, fabulous! That's great. Open, Chicago's a fun town. The opening is <laughs> Friday, so let's coordinate. Maybe we can go together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. That would be lovely. Pam, do you think we're going to be able to? Uh, you think we're going to be able to take uh, Bill Cohn's workshop again? Oh, you're on mute. You're on mute.
I think so. Next summer, not this summer. Yeah, no. You, you don't think so? You don't? This is too soon? Well, I don't know if you've been on the website lately, but I there did. I was. A few online things, and that's it. Oh, yeah. That would, been, that would be so much fun. Yes. We'll, we'll have to inundate them with Southern California. <laughs> yeah. PSSC people, that would be fun. Yeah, we were supposed to All go, you uh, campers out there. <laughs> you, uh, you, Kat, myself, and Daniel, uh, we're going to go up there. I, I think there was yes. somebody else. Um, but Bill mm -hmm. Cohen was going to have a, a workshop last year in July. Was it July? Uh, and what, what part of the California is that? Uh, it's Sierra. I can hear. Let me pull up a map. Oh, let's see here. Oops. Let me just do it on my phone. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful part. I'm not sure where it's it's at. It's it's, it's up up north, obviously. Um, but it's beautiful beautiful country. It's a nice campus. Is it near Davis or something like that? Where did he, he talk? No. no, not Davis. Um, it's even further northeast. Yeah. Uh, Chico? No. No, 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 no. It's it's up in the woods. Um, I don't exactly, but uh, I, he lives he lives up there somewhere, doesn't he? He he lives in the Bay Area. Oh, he lives in the Bay Area. Yeah. What what did he? It'd be nice to get him for a workshop. Yes. Yeah, if, you're not, if, if you're not familiar with Bill Cohn's work, look it up. It's really nice. Yeah, he, he works, works for Pixar. Yeah, he works for Pixar. Uh, you're talking about Bill Cohn? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to take a workshop with him. Yeah, he's amazing. I've been trying to get a hold of him. It's a hard guy to get a hold of. He does that uh, High Sierra paint out. I'd love to go out there and do that. That one, that one, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's through San Francisco State University. Yeah. It goes through this. It's yeah. No, yeah. Pam, I didn't recognize you. Oh, hi, Dory. <laughs> I'm trying to think, was your, did you cut I, your hair? She did. I, I keep cutting it shorter and shorter. I just cut it again last week. I love it. I love I'm it. In the, I'm in that phase right now too, Pam. No worries. <laughs> it's it's just easy. Yeah. I keep cutting mine shorter and shorter and trying to I'm trying to catch the gray. I'm trying to get the gray in. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed that. It's very pretty. Yeah. So I think a lot of women have discovered their gray hair recently. Well, and 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 not be afraid to do it. Right. Just think about the, I always think, well, look at the pastels I could buy. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I, so I, 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 I uh, didn't realize how much haircuts cost nowadays. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh my God. I called for an appointment. I was like, how much? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to grab my Floby. I'm going to grab my Floby. <laughs> uh, getting hi, back everyone. To I just wanted to say hi. Hi, hey, Lori. No, hi. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Laura. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm trying. I'm trying to do something like Mike Ishikawa do it, did it, and uh -huh. uh, it doesn't look anything like. <laughs> did Mike leave? Where is Mike? No, I'm here. Oh, okay, I, I corrected Mike, that. I, I thought you were going to do like four demos tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I finished the the bottom. I re redid it. So if you want to look at it, yeah. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mike. Let me find you. Where'd, where'd you go? Where did you go? Mike? I don't know. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let me find you, Mike. Oh, wait, it's under. It's it's under there's Nation Art. Nation Art. Nation I, Art. Yeah. I oh. think his camera is off. Yeah, no, it's not off. off. No? OK. I've there discovered you. that you have to go back to the, the gallery view and then. There, there. there you go. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, really beautiful. Very beautiful, yes. I love the way you do your trees. 
beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. That blue that you put in the foreground, really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And the mauve too, I see that. Fun, fun, fun. This looks a little bit too roundish. I think it needs to be, <laughs> it looks like a skyline or something. Just break <laughs> it in a few places. Yeah, I think it needs to. Uh, Not be such a hard line, maybe. Yeah, it needs to have this. A lot. Good. Something like that. Yeah. Hello, Judy. We can raffle that off at the next meeting. Wow. Oh, cool. That would be wonderful. That'd be great. That would be, that would be great. I'll put that on my list. Yeah, Thanks. put it on your list. We'll raffle it off. Okay, I gotta feed my dogs. I forgot. Hey, Otto, that workshop of Bill Cohn's with the San Francisco Field Station, it's halfway between Oroville and Reno, Nevada. Okay. And what, but what was the team name? Close Sierra to? Buttes. Sierra, that's what, Sierra Buttes. Okay. Yeah. Sierra Buttes. It's kind of like uh, invited only, right? You can't just go in there and... Oh, no, you sign up online. You sign up online, yeah. Yeah, through the uh, field station, the... Cal State Field Station website and you pay your sure. fees, and then you camp or you can use one of their tents or if you have a like a motor home or a trailer you can bring that too and stay in the yeah. lot but most people camp yeah and you can you can either provide your own food or you can pay for uh, a meal you know for the meals yeah. I thought it was up in the Sierras they, she goes to Ediza Lake uh, he takes pack horses and packs in there. Yeah, this, yeah. This be... I think that's is that the Granite Group or something like that. Oh, this yeah. is something else. So this is a this is a workshop. Okay. How many people does he allow? Uh, I don't remember. The one at the San Francisco Field Station, I think, was like twenty five or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you send me information on that? I'd love to go there. Uh, yes. If you can just uh, email Destination Art, I can get it. Or, or Mike1SH1 at AOL.com. Mike1 at what? Mike1SH1 at AOL.com. And are the ones digits or spelled out? Yeah, just one digit, yeah, digit. Okay. They didn't have an I, so they gave me ones. It's <laughs> actually Ishi. So Mike1SH1 at AOL.com. Right, perfect. Lupe, you've been awfully quiet. <laughs> what you got? Oh, I'm doing a back, back uh, lit figure. <laughs> nice. Is that Marty? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a backlit photo. Yeah. I see yeah. it on the ground. That's very cool. Very nice. Nice, Lupe. Thanks. Yeah, I just started. I'm. I just got the the uh, underpainting uh, uh, fixed, so now I'm starting to actually put the pastel on. Did you put alcohol on there? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh. Really helps to get those dark uh, places yeah. dark right yeah. away. I was going to use this tonight. Um, acrylic black, but I didn't do it. Because I, I, I didn't want it to be a big blob. 
Who else has got anything to show us? I'll show I'll show you what I've done. Mike, this is this is uh this is what you caused. I want you to know this is what you <laughs> caused. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh, wow. Lovely. Nice well, Laura. I, it's kind of really sloppy. I'm trying to, to work as quickly as you you did. And roughly, you know, get some contour or something. I but think it looks really nice. It's a snow oh, scene, right? You. What? The snow scene it, in the Sierras? Uh, well, no, it's not snow. <laughs> it, I don't, <laughs> it's not supposed to be snow, but it's oh. this photo. I don't know if you can see oh, this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but... Um, I'm just working much more quickly than I usually do. That's good. So, uh, really nice. It's Laura. interesting, though. I, you know, as I try to work at it, I see how you can get these effects. You know, as I sort of um, plunge in. All right, guys. We have about four minutes to go. So, yeah. I know. What are you working on, Otto? Show us what uh, you're you don't you don't want to see it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you. I, I'm just doing dark, the dark side. I got uh, I got these pieces I've got to finish for uh, my art show coming up in July. Uh, so I mean it, it's it's the Tehachapi uh, show. So Joe Mancuso's in it. Mary Asin's in it. Uh, if anybody's interested, uh, the VIP tickets. Are $100 a piece. Um, it's for Friday, July 23rd. And um, there's 250 tickets total, and already more than half have sold. So wow. if anybody's interested, please email me uh, and, uh, and I'll, I'll get you the contact. Anyway, so, so again, I'm, I've been experimenting, and this is, uh, this is what I'm working on. So I'm putting the darks in right now. And so yeah. still a lot of work to go. So, you know, it's just, it's just right now it looks very, very, the darks look really dark because I like placing the darks in. And- Is that uh, pastel? Yeah, auto? yeah. With the acrylic and watercolor underlay with pastel on top of that. So is right that now- like a, you know, Is that like a silver, silver base? It is, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a Mexican uh, stamped uh, metal wow. base, a tin base, yeah. And so there's a lot of work to be done still, but um, like I said, the darks are super dark, but that's, I like, I like uh, glazing color on top of that. Uh, so yeah, I like that red. I like yeah. that red. How many yeah. hours do you have in that thing, Otto? Uh, I don't know, I'm a good, I would say right now, maybe a good 30, a good 30 hours. Really? So yeah, about 30. I mean, there's probably another 30 to go easily. Wow, uh, that's pretty so. quick. Yeah, that's still yeah, that's still kind of quick. Um, but we'll see. I think I think the way I did the underpainting helped out a lot. Uh, so, but who knows? I mean, I, I say another thirty, but it could be another fifty. So easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's you know it's my temperament. It's the way I kind of get into that Zen mode and when I'm I'm when I'm working. So you know. Are you using those super sharp pencils, pastel pencils? Um, super sharp pencils, super sharp pastels. Yeah. You know so. You I've should got, show you should you should show us how you sharpen those pencils down to like a it almost looks like a dagger. It's so sharp. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, sh I'll show you. I mean, it's fairly quick. It's not <laughs> not that difficult. I'll show you real quick. All right. Um, here I'll show you one. Yeah. So, I mean, here's one, but I tend to. Wow! Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And the reason the reason for this is not just the tip; it's uh, it's for the broadside. So, um, and and I tend to use it kind of like a lot like a metronome. Um, and this is one of the glazing methods. And this is what I do as well with the uh, with the Jurows, right? So I've got all my Jurows here. I've got a ton of Jurows. Um, and well, this one's not so sharpened, but uh, but you know, same thing. I just use I like to I like to, I like the uh, because the medium soft, right? They're not super soft and not too hard but the the colors are just um gorgeous so i've been using unisense terry ludwig uh 
uh, let's see what else I've been using my own. I mix my own paint. When I don't have a color, I, 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 I roll a new one. So I mix the color <laughs> I want. If I don't have the right red, I'll make a red. Um, How do you roll it? Do you roll it in wax, wax paper? Auto, I no, a... just in my hand. Just in my hand. Yeah, I roll it in my hand. And then, and then I can really sharpen. I can, I can make it any shape I want. Like I make wafers, right? I make wafers oh, and, that, okay. and, that, and that gets me a super sharp edge. Right. Uh, so, so yeah, so I'm, I'm moving away from pencils um, because they don't give me the richness that a pastel will. So, um, you know, so sometimes I'll take, if I have a, you know, like I'll take all my, my vibe, you know, all, all the Terry's, right? I'll, I'll mix my own, I'll just mix and match. If I have a pastel that's too, too hard, I'll make, you know, put a softer pastel into it and make new pastel. So I have all kinds of different shapes of pastel and my own colors, you know, sometimes, you know, here's another one I did, you know, wow. so. Um, yeah, yeah so, have you found, when you make your own pastels, if you use, if you crush down hard pastels, does it come out hard again? Or? Yes, it does. It does. It does. Yeah, yeah. Because um, you know, it, it's just it's whatever 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 they use to create something. Now, now you got to keep in mind. Sometimes the hard pastels have a little bit more. Um, it could be a combination of uh, some kind of filler of clay or pumice, um, but uh, but. You know, if, if and, and so when you have a softer pastel, it, again, it depends on the organic or mineral uh, uh, composite that it may. I mean, so it's it's just it's a combination of stuff, um, and the way they mill it too is is uh, you know how fine they mill it um, makes it softer. I mean, you know, like pan pastel is super 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 soft, um, and it gets into everything. So I mean, there's no you know it, the, it gets into the pores really nice, but. Um, but anyhow, regarding the, uh, the 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 pastel pencil, you know, just take your utility blade, and I'm gonna I'm gonna point this down just a little bit here, and um, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, well you can't really see that. So anyway, I just take it, and and I and I slant the blade right. So basically, I'm kind of just holding the blade. I'm not moving the blade forward. You don't want to cut yourself. All I'm doing is technically I'm using this hand that holds the pencil and. You can see that just pulling back on it. So I'm, I'm pulling back. So my, my hand with the blade never moves. It's right. always my oh, other hand pulling the pencil back. Oh. Yeah. And just rolling the pencil as I go to create that, that nice point. Uh, you know, and you can do that, you know, with your fingertip as well. You just got to be careful. The only other thing to make it easier is you can take a sander, right? And roll the pencil as you sharpen it. Right. And that gets you a nice point. Yeah, yeah. So. Do you yeah. do that with your Jaros too? I do that with the Jaros, yeah. Uh, wow. You know, do you guys know Brian, Brian Bailey's work? Uh, yes, yes. He's one of the pre to, he's one of the pre to West, fantastic. Yeah, he doesn't use pastel pencils. He uses um, really short, he likes from brands, uh, some, uh, some new pastels, but but mostly just medium to medium uh, soft pastels, and he'll sharpen them. He he just takes the, the mesh or whatever, and he sharpens it. Obviously, keeps all the dust. Um, but yeah, so we just sharpen the same thing. Same thing here. This is a five one three. Uh, so this guy, so this one already had blunted already. So um, you know, it's just a matter of yeah. taking the drill and just rolling it and getting that nice edge. Or you can do a you know, angle cut uh, angles. You can just send it out to an angle. So you, you save that, that dust. You save yeah. that dust. Yeah. So I've got a I've got a, a rain gutter that I've got attached to my my easel, and it catches everything. It you know I've got it where I can easily remove it and put everything in a in a jar, and then oh. I'll reconstitute it. So yeah, but that's how you get some nice get some nice angles. You know, some nice edges. Right. You know. And that's that's how I get a lot of. Oh, I, I have a question. What do you yeah. mix your pastel powder? What do you mix it with? What kind? Okay, of Okay, so my pastel powder. Liquid or. Um, some people like you know like, it, again, it, it, people argue whether you should use alcohol or not. Um, I do. I use a little bit of alcohol, ninety-one percent. It evaporates pretty darn quick. And all I'm doing is I add a little bit of 
of rubbing alcohol to break up that surface tension. And so when you've got it milled really nice, uh, put it just a, I put just a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just a little bit, a few drops, breaks the surface tension. And, and, and then once you've broken that surface tension, you can add just a little bit of uh, distilled water and, and, and get a nice paste. Once you've got the paste, I spoon it, and then I'll just put it in my hand, right? I'll just spoon it onto my hand, and then I'll just roll it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll finish it off on a paper towel, just roll it on a paper towel, uh, form it to whatever shape I want, leave it on the paper towel, and then dry for a few days. So here, here in California, it dries really fast, but two, three days, I'm, I can use it. I can use it, so it's not a, it's not a big deal. Oh, uh, wow. But yeah, I, you know, so the problem with the greens that I find, they're just too, um, too much blue in it. You know, um, I really like warm greens. Uh, I find that like with all the browns, they either have too much purple in them, um, not enough red, not enough deep red browns. And so I'm constantly making red browns or um, brownish greens. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Cause I'm always looking for those really rich colors right about that at the Terminator. Those are hard to find, you know, where the color gets really nice and saturated. Uh, so, yeah. So, so are you taking a good stick of pastel and crushing it and making your own color again? Yeah, if I don't, if I don't have a color, I'll, I'll take a good stick of pastel and make my own. I, I, yeah, um, I have no qualms about it because, you know, wow. when I paint in oil, I paint, I work so much faster in oil, um, but, uh, I, but I enjoy, you know, I enjoy pastel. But like I said, I don't, I don't futz around trying to mix a color in oil. I'm not going to futz around with pastels. So, you know, it's, it's, it takes a lot of work as it is in my technique to, to, to blend. So I, I try to get, you know, as close as I can, as soon as I can. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're that. welcome. Yeah, that's very interesting. I'd like to try that sometime. Yeah. Yeah. It's really easy. Uh, you know, maybe when I host one of the, one of the, uh, you know, one of the uh, theme Thursdays, you know, maybe it'll just be about, you know, some quick technique stuff that, you know, yeah. you guys can, you guys you can. Need that, you need that little bowl with that little stir. I like, what, you like the ones with stainless steel or the one with clay? Uh, I use, I use, um, what do I use? I use a ceramic one. Something that's okay. not too porous. Something that's not too porous because obviously that powder is going to get in there and it's going to stick and it's going to be really hard to get it clean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have something that's porous, I spray varnish on it. I spray varnish on it and get it, make sure that it's not porous because all that powder is going to stick in there and it'll, uh, it'll, uh, what's it called? It's, it's going to, it's going to contaminate whatever color you want. Yeah, you the color, yeah. Yeah, it'll contaminate it. So, so you want to, you want to get a, 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 a mortar and, and pestle that, that, that again, isn't porous for this purpose. Um, I don't know where I left mine. At. It's, it's hidden somewhere. Um, yeah. I missed all this junk. This is something like, you know, the studio blew up. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy right now. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it. I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that uh, in, in one of the uh, one of the theme Thursdays I mean, for anybody who's interested. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm sure. interested in that. Everybody's got pastel that are too small to be used, you know, and so that's really a perfect thing to use. Right. Just store it in there and crush it up. Yeah, well, how many, I mean, and you've got some big ones too. So I'll shave off, I'll shave off some of the big stuff like that. I've got some big richesons that I'll shave off and uh, and break down into other colors and, and just to make some. And uh, there's a piece I'm working on uh, that where I mixed all my coral colors because I just couldn't find them. And um, I was having issues with this. So, they didn't have the right chroma um, or they were just too purple. So I went and, and gave some, some, some chroma and, uh, and, and I, I, I made a whole family of them. So it worked out, worked out really well. So. Man, you are a perfectionist, I'm telling you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you are a perfectionist. <laughs> You know, so you know, it's just, it's just, you know, whatever, whatever makes you happy, I guess. You know, yeah. and uh, you know, so yeah, I know. I that's that's amazing. There's a lot of people who don't want to work in the technique I use. You know, it, it takes too long. I get it. You know, 
but you know, you got to paint with your own temperament and, uh, and, and enjoy it. So if you enjoy it, you know, so, but never be afraid to challenge yourself. Um, all right, you guys, well, we are, uh, we're at eight ten, So we, yeah, yeah. We're in overtime. Um, yeah. So I really want to thank Mike for doing this demonstration. That was an excellent demonstration. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you for doing it at, uh, mm -hmm. at Margaret. Thank you for sharing your space at Destination Art. Um, you guys, you're always welcome on, at Theme Thursdays. Our next one, uh, let me check, is on May 20th, Thursday, May 20th. Um, so yeah, if anybody has a theme that they want to want to share, um, they want to, you know, you know, let us know. Uh, Dory might want to do it. Christine might want to do it. Yeah, go on, Dory. Yeah, again, it's, there's no such Mike, Mike went above and beyond to to do a to do a demonstration. You don't have to. You don't have to do it. You just pick a theme. Uh, but we we love that that Mike did this, and so um, you know, it's, it's your prerogative. You pick the theme. Uh, let us know. Uh, we'll need to know pretty soon, so we can put it uh, in our announcement. Let people know. So if anybody wants to volunteer, speak now, or you can tell me later. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, if, if anybody wants a, a techniques, uh, th you know, just messing with techniques, uh, we'll, we'll do something like that uh, in the near future. Um, all right, you guys. Well, uh, if nobody has anything else to share, we're gonna say uh, goodbye, and we'll see each other on saturday for tony elaine's uh, demo yeah lynn you got something to say 10 o'clock yeah. what's that oh i thought you had something to say i'm sorry oh, i just said we'll see you at 10 o'clock on saturday yes yeah, see you at 10 uh, okay thank you thank you bye, -bye. thank you bye. 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 thank you everybody bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.